Hey all, JTC here, and welcome back to another Narrated Thoughts gameplay video where I talk about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it live. Today I'll be running an altered version of my Witch Hunter Captain build that utilizes one-handed flail instead of rapier. Without further ado, let's jump straight in. Okay, so we're loading right back into another Twitch mode. Why, God, do I always load into Twitch modes? Um, oh, okay, so it's Obed and Duke. This is going to be a lot of fun, again. Uh, I know these guys have, I've been playing with them since, like, the beginning in 20, like, 2019, 2020. Uh, we're literally to the point where every single time I play the game, I recognize people instantaneously. Ah, uh, this is gonna be a little, this is gonna be a little weird. I don't know what kind of Twitch mode they're running, so I guess we'll see. Um, they could be running, uh, 200% Twitch. I'm not certain, but I guess we'll see. Also, it looks like we're at pretty much at the very, very end of this, uh... We're at the, we're at the very, very end of, uh, Bacon Branch, so, or, uh, so it doesn't really, like, matter. Um, alright, yeah, the Fort Bacon Branch, uh, finale is very, very easy, and there's really nothing to do, with, especially since this group is so good, so we're just gonna go on to the next game. All right, we're back with a take two, this time on the wholesome map of Festering Grounds, one of the rarest maps that I don't really get in quick play that often, so I don't ever mind having a nice wholesome game in Festering Grounds. Uh, so, uh, apparently Obed's scared of 200%, so this is definitely not 200%, I think this is just 100%, so we're rocking some 100% on Twitch, and as I mentioned previously, I know exactly, what is that guy doing up there? I know exactly who these guys are, so this is gonna be a super smooth game for me, and I don't have to worry about anything. These guys can take care of themselves. The only time I would actually have to be, like, concerned and, you know, like, really be watching is if um, this was 200% Twitch, but um, it's not, so you know what? I don't have anything to worry about. This is going to be a smooth, nice ride. So the idea with the build that I'm running, uh, specifically with Flail, is I use Flens on Flail in order to get, you know, a lot of that extra damage because Flens is just good. But the biggest uh, talent that I run with this is Heretic Sighted. Now, you're going to see me tagging a lot of enemies, even if um, an enemy is specifically already tagged, because I need to proc Heretic Sighted. What Heretic Sighted is going to do is give me an extra, I think it's 10% attack speed, which is just going to be able to help um, offset the slowness of Flail and allow me to get a lot more DPS out. Now, since Witch Hunter Captain is a crit class, I'm going to be able to you know, crit very much and very often while playing with this, and because I'm playing with Flail, it's a very high cleave weapon, so I'm gonna be able to crit a lot of creatures um, pretty much in like one swipe, and I'm gonna be able to cleave through a lot of them and hit a lot of different mobs with that cleave. It's a kind of, it's honestly kind of a weird little uh, funny build that I didn't even really think about until someone else pointed it out to me, and I was like, damn, that's actually pretty good. And especially now, since you can actually see that I proc Swift Slaying and Heretic Sighted, you can see that I have a like I have a lot of attack speed with this. Also, forgive me, my movement is weird. I actually just did a little bit of Dark Tide uh, recording, so uh, I, I'm I'm still kind of stuck on the Dark Tide, but hopefully I'll be able to switch my muscle memory on the fly. I hear that assassin directly in front of us. Uh, as you can see right now, we're specifically holding the choke. Uh, a way to separate a good player from a great player is great players will purposefully force um, hordes through chokes like these in order to make them more manageable to deal with. Especially since Obed right here is running um, whatever it's called, Fireball Staff. Um, we're going to want to keep hordes kind of in a choke for him to actually be able to cleave through them. So uh, yeah, it's it's real it's it's a really simple way to actually get some extra damage out that a lot of people don't really think about, and it is actually super super easy to do and gives you essentially just free damage. I'm just gonna spank this rat. Oh, and he's walking away. Typical storm fiend activity. Now something uh, since we're actually starting to deal with twitch mode a lot, is everything okay? What what just happened? So especially now that we're dealing with a lot of Twitch modes, something I'm going to say is I will not always be like verbally calling out uh, what Twitch mode is next, but typically what I'm doing is I'm constantly flicking my eyes down. I thought about getting a Toby eye tracker for you guys so you can see like exactly what I'm looking at at any given time. Um, but I, I I don't know. Maybe you guys can shed some light off and on if that would be interesting for you. Personally, I think Toby eye trackers are kind of annoying and I turn them off ASAP. And it definitely causes me to, like, not watch a video if they have them. But if people want it, I can look into getting one. But um, I'm going to be constantly kind of flicking my eyes downwards to get just kind of, like, inherently taken or subconsciously taken, like, 
whatever the Twitch mode is going to be, because I've been playing for so long that I've essentially just completely memorized what these um, different uh, what these different uh, votes are going to be, just like by the names and the pictures alone. Now that I have a shout, I'm going to ult and push forward into the horde rather than backing away from the horde, and I'm going to get shoved out. Oh, that was an overhead. That was fun. See, I was going to say that I was going to start pushing in after shouting to be more aggressive, then I instantly get shoved out of uh, my uh, attack by that mauler, which kind of threw me off a little bit. But unfortunately, I was able to block in time because Obed actually has pretty good ping, which I don't remember him having good ping. Maybe I just caught him on like a bad internet day, or maybe my internet was bad. God knows my internet's awful. Okay, so hopefully we don't get a troll here. I don't really want to deal with a troll, especially since the flail build that I'm running isn't very good at dealing boss damage. It's not terrible, but it's definitely there's definitely things better than it. All right, we have heavy metal. That is a potentially dangerous one that we're going to have to keep a very close eye on. I don't exactly know what my team is running other than uh, Obed's running fireball staff. I think they're coming from behind. They are coming from behind. Now, Obit's currently peppering them with Fireball Staff, uh, which isn't going to do that much damage, but it, but anyways, uh, er, er, oh, I just had a brain malfunction because I saw a bunch of armor running at me. But which isn't, in, in the grand scheme of things, a lot of damage, but you know, at the end of the day, damage is absolutely damage. So as you can see right now, I am constantly spamming heavy attacks for one main reason. Um, I don't want to get very close to these guys, and the heavy attack has a slightly larger range than... um than the light attack. So that's why I'm constantly... That's unfortunate. So that's why I am constantly uh, doing heavy attacks. This has suddenly took a very shitty turn. Oh my god. Uh, okay. I'm gonna be... Oh no, I'm gonna get screwed if I do not... If I'm not careful. I need to kill him. I'm gonna be blocking now. I'm gonna try to get Obed up. I'm gonna shout to cover his res. Okay, I need to reload. Nope, I don't have... I can't reload. I need to drop immediately. I'm going to circle back around to my team, one of which who's grabbed. Hopefully he can get grabbed. Okay. Or he can get saved. No, that is unfortunate. Leech is coming right now. Leech is dead. I'm immediately going to go with light attacks because I need damage right now, not survivability. Spamming dodges. Spamming dodges. Oh my god, Obit's alive. Holy shit. I thought it was just uh, Duke and I, but thank God it's not. Okay, I'm gonna go on this Chaos Warrior. I'm just gonna shout because I need to get um, offensive right now and not defensive. I am on my way. Cruel Hooks, we need to immediately start killing these Chaos Warriors as fast as possible. That's one down. Okay. We are now in a very bad situation. We need to... I am going to immediately switch my ranged weapon and start shooting. I'm so sorry, Duke. I just put those in your butt. I'm going to try to kill this guy if I can. Oh, it's just me. Okay. This is unfortunate. If I can kill this last guy in time, I might be able to save Duke. No, I'm not going to be able to save Duke. That's bad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to kill that gas, I mean, that hook rat. This is definitely an unfortunate situation. I'm going to try to go around Nope. I'm going to try to go the other way instead, because I want to try to get Duke up. Hopefully this is going to be gas rats. Nope. Okay. I need to get ammo right now. I don't hear them, which means I might have time. No, I don't. I'm so sorry, Duke. Okay, dodge him. I'm just gonna kill him. I'm so sorry, Duke. I also completely missed two, um... Two potions, which was not that great. But, uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. I'm going to shout to keep those guys away. Oh my god, ammo. This is going to be probably the riskiest res of my life, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to get Kruber up first because he has a shout. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. No! Oh, no. 
Oh, he's not going to be able to get it. This is unfortunate. Oh, he does have a shield. Nope. Oh, that unfortunately was the end. All right, so we're back with the take two here. Um, as you can see, there have been a couple of uh, team composition changes made. Uh, Duke has switched from Ranger Vet to uh, Engineer with Gromroll plated shot. Uh, Kruber has dropped the shield and gone with Mace and Sword. And then Duke has gone with um, two-handed uh, two Mace instead of whatever melee he was running, which I don't remember at the top of my head. Now, that does mean that we have a lot more armor damage and significantly less horde damage, which is actually perfectly fine with me because my entire build is a little more focused around, like, horde and mixed horde um, damage. Speaking of hordes, hello, random monk that I didn't hear. And then uh, we have release the slaves incoming. So, actually, this is pretty good for me. I'm just kind of vibing right now. No scary super armor, no mixed hordes, just some really nice and relaxing... Uh, little little trash words to kill now unfortunately with duke switching off of ranger veteran that does mean that i have to be a little more conservative in my ammo usage uh but there are still certain times like right now where it is absolutely worth it to use my ammo there um with that uh Rattling, I was planning not to shoot him and let the Kruber shoot him. A, because the Kruber has handgun and is able to kind of kill him a little bit more quickly. And B, I was too far away. Uh, so I was going to be affected by damage fall off. And it would have taken significantly more bullets for me than the for me to kill the Rattling than the Kruber. Oh my god, words are hard. So here we are, back, uh, back in the room where it happened. Hopefully uh, we're not going to have a repeat of last time. But uh, with, the, with this uh, new... Uh, team composition. I think we're going to do just fine. Knock on wood. Everyone knock on wood. Oh, and immediately we have some lovely bosses. Nice. Uh, hopefully we get the Storm Fiends, and the Storm Fiends much, much easier, and if we end up getting it paired with a um, Horde, it's going to be much easier on us than the Minotaur. There are actually some very rare cases where um, the Storm Feed is the absolute worst boss to get. It's predominantly in very, very tight and enclosed spaces like the beginning of Convocation or of Decay or kind of the ending section of, um, what's it called? Oh my god, Blood in the Darkness. Or kind of that middle section of Blood in the Darkness when you're going through the catacombs. So uh, other than that, though, the Storm Fiend is going to be the best boss to get. And I'm really, ah, of course we get Moo Moo. Uh, but honestly, since there's really nothing around here, it's not going to be that big of a deal to deal with this uh, boss. Bosses are really, for, for experienced players at least, bosses are not a problem in any way, shape, or form when they're basically just solo. Uh, when bosses uh, become paired with a bunch of specials and a bunch of, um, like, hordes, that's when bosses become problematic. But typically... Wait, is he running Trollhammer? Oh my god, this man's running Trollhammer. We are okay. But, uh, yeah, when bosses are solo for experienced players, they're not a problem. Uh, that's patrol. But uh, when they are paired with, um, like, hordes or patrols or specials, that's when they get problematic. So, once again, uh, I really hope we get a Storm Fiend since it's going to be really, really nice and easy to kite him around. Is that a Hakrat that I just heard? No, I don't think so. Yes, yes, I think I did. I don't know where he is, though. I'm just going to walk up to this guy and slap him with a heavy attack. Never mind, he's dead. Aha, Storm Fiend, beautiful. Right now, I'm just going to deal with the Horde because I want to build some temp HP up, and my um, specialty is absolutely Horde damage over boss damage. Um, Obed and Duke both have Fireball and Trollhammer, Teter, Trollhammer Torpedo, respectively, which means that they are vastly, vastly better at dealing with uh, bosses than I am. So I will let them deal the boss damage, and I will deal with the hordes. Oh my god, this man's running straight together. I love this. I love this Kruber. I do hear that leech up. I do need to be careful of that leech. There's that leech. He's dead. Oh, QQ bug. Oh. 
So right now what I'm doing is I'm, per I'm, I'm spamming heavy attacks specifically to keep the horde kind of controlled and staggered. Um, if I wanted to do a lot more DPS, if I needed to do more DPS, it would be better to spam light attacks instead of just rapid heavy attacks. But rapid heavy attacks are A, safer, and B, um, can control a horde a lot easier since it has a lot more cleave and stagger power than the light attacks. So I opted to just go for um, horde control right there and kind of a little bit of safety. Uh, also... Once more, we have some fun armor. Hello, Mauler. I thought you were Obed. Uh, but it looks like we have some more armor coming. I hope for our sake it's hashtag B. But considering that we have a lot more armor damage, I'm not concerned about this. Um, I'm not concerned about this vote whatsoever. Uh, where's Kruber? I'm going to give... I don't know. I actually don't recognize this Kruber as well as I recognize the other two. But I, I trust that he's a good player. So hopefully he's going to drop... Come here. Eh, eh, eh. Come here, I want to give you the purple potion. I, eh, eh, eh. Thank you. Typically, it's better for mercenary creepers to have the um, potions um, when it comes to just like team wide survivability because they have, oh, that's going to be fun, because they have the temp HP. Um, the only time it's better for a shout career to have um, that purple potion is when a Witch Hunter Captain has Unending Hunt. I'm going to get him up immediately, which I do have, but honestly, I would kind of prefer to have the, the temp HP. I like the temp HP a little bit more. Oh, that was almost death. Okay, I'm actually just going to walk through this immediately since I have Bark Skin. Oh, okay. Yep, immediately he drinks. I love this man. Because of that, we're going to have a bunch of temp HP right now. I hear an assassin. Okay, he's right there. They're water falling from here, so I'm going to take care of these guys. They're no longer water falling. I'm going to move to somewhere where they are water falling. Nope, no assassin. Now I can switch to spamming light attack since I'm not really in danger of dying right now. Where's that assassin? Hello. Okay, here comes monks. I'm going to go back to heavy attacks because I need to be safe. I'm going to block as they're in their flurry. And then I'm going to go block again to block that overhead. And then I'm going to spam light attacks while they're kind of stunned and getting out of their flurry. And then I'm going to go back to blocking and then back to light attacks. Basically, what I was trying to do there was I was trying to get as much damage as possible with light attack spam in between their flurries and then go back to blocking when they were doing their flurries. I see that. I see those little shits. Come on. Come on. Peek your head. There you go. Oh, he's not dead. Good job. Oh! Uh, actually, I'm done. I need to give that to Kerber. He's hurt. That's a leech. Those are soul drinkers. Oh, he got shanked. I hear an assassin. I don't know where that assassin is, though. I am just here spamming left click. Hello. I'll let Kerber take care of that. Okay, I would like to go now. I'm going to need some ammo soon because I'm starting to run out. Damn, nothing. Oh my god, did he just fall? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, watch your footing, Dory. You never know when you could slip and fall to your death. <laughs> there might be... Sometimes things spawn back here. Ah, like art. I uh, say it's not very often things spawn back here, but you should always check back there because something sometimes things spawn. I hope we get critically unstable breed right now because critically unstable breed will spawn um, some ammo for me to pick up. Damn. Oh my god. No, I wanted that ammo. Oh, actually, no, I was correct. Haha, -ha, it is critically unstable breed. I'm just going to ult to get them back. Now that there's ammo, I don't need to be careful about uh, say, wasting ammo. Thank you. Might as well just attack to get my temp HP up since I'm running temp HP on cleave. Which also equates to temp HP on hit. Gunline and Berserker Band. Honestly, these are these both are kind of moot for us, especially since we're kind of going in an enclosed space. Uh, so, actually, I think since we're going into an enclosed space, Gunline would be a little bit better of a vote because we can line of sight them a lot easier. Ow. 
I'm just gonna ult immediately, because why not? Ow, really? Hey, look, more art. Thank you. Gun line. Uh, I hear a bunch coming from over there, but I can't exactly see them yet. I, th I don't know. I don't actually don't know if they can hop over there. I don't think they can hop over that wall. That's one down. Leech behind. They got. They got that. Ooh. Okay. Kill it with fire would not be great here. That would require us to spend a lot of ammunition. Something that I don't want to do. So I'm hoping that we don't get that vote. I'm just gonna ult and get rid of that guy because he's deadly. I can't remember if I've ever talked about this in a narrated gameplay review, but don't be afraid to quote-unquote waste your ult. Uh, I feel like a lot of people hold on to their ults in the, with the fear of, like, wasting it. There's no such thing as a wasted ult. Because no matter, every single, like, ult in this game has some kind of, like, passive ability. So, like, even if you quote-unquote, like, waste it, or in your mind waste it by not getting like the ideal um, value out of it, you're still like benefiting yourself or your team in some in some way through a passive effect. On top of that, you generate your ultimate ability so unbelievably fast that it really doesn't matter. There's not going to be very many situations, um, if any, if you're playing on just like normal difficulties. When you start playing on modded difficulties and on like, you know, hyper twitch kata, then, you know, the, the conversation shifts a little bit. But if you're just playing normal difficulties, there's never going to be a situation or there, there, the situation where, you know, you technically quote unquote waste an ult and wipe because you didn't have your ult is so unbelievably rare that you shouldn't really be accounting for it that much. Like I said, a lot of difficulties and like very, very high tier, you know, Twitch gameplay and deeds is very much a different story. But like what I'm doing right now, there really is no such thing as wasting my ultimate. The only time I would need to be careful of like wasting an ultimate is if we have like some kind of like disabler vote coming up and I need to be very, very careful of that because we're pinned because of a bunch of other votes. Basically, uh, things need to spiral out of control before I need to start watching out for that. And spiral out of control significantly with a bunch of like bad misplays by the team or a bunch of unfortunate, really nasty Twitch votes. Hey, bomb. Speaking of votes, uh, honestly, both of these are pretty much fine. I, I don't really have a preference one way or the other. Aha! Loot rat. Nice. Pick up the most important parts. Uh, everyone's uh, doing good so far. We have a horde coming as well as hold your breath. That's actually fine. The gas will kill the horde a little bit. I'm going to go meet the horde since I am pretty much like one of the main horde clear. Ow! That's what I get for not respecting a horde. I'm also going to back the fuck up because the berserkers are scary as shit. Uh, gas rats over there. I'm going to help Duke a little bit. I mean, Obed and miss every shot. So I'm just going to go back to my good little role of killing hordes. I'm going to shove and go into a heavy attack because there's an elite right here and I want to keep the elite staggered. Oh, he's dead. Okay. Back to light attacks. Heavy attack to control the horde. Back to light attacks. Push attack, heavy attack to control the horde, and back to light attacks. Nope. Thank you, uh, Obed. I'm assuming they... Oh, hello. Okay, we don't have twins up, so I can just kill these guys freely. Hopefully, yeah, I kind of want Kruber to have that. If there's a second purple potion, I will definitely take it. But uh, as of right now, I definitely want Kruber to have that. I love the screaming of mine, mine, as they they just run around aimlessly. I love the the assassin. The, the, assassin. the uh the the sack rats are cute. I, I call me a heretic if you want to, but I think they're adorable. So cute. Another gas rat. Oh nope. I was about to say, I genuinely thought that was my team until I heard the whoosh sound. Uh, there's healing. You know what? Might as well just heal. We have free healing. 
But yeah, just doing a quick check about supplies. It looks like we have a decent amount of potions. We have a plenty of uh, healing, obviously. And then we just have my one bomb. Okay, I'm going to camp out here next to the... Uh, next to the infinite ammo because there's no reason not to. Yeah, the the guy the, the outcast engineer and the guy with the handgun has it covered. Not su no surprise there. I'm too lazy to go back for two bullets. We do have double disablers coming up. So this is kind of one moment where I would be a little more mindful of my ultimate use, uh, especially considering that like when it comes to these kinds of votes, they can just spawn directly on top of us and like start to insta disable. To be fair to Fat Shark, they have fixed that issue and it's very very rare, but it still is technically possible. But uh, for the most part, um, I, I think it's going to be okay, is what I'm trying to say. Here comes a bunch of Berserkers. Okay, now it's Assassins. I'm very happy I saved my ult. Because Assassins can ruin things pretty much instantaneously, because they are just immediately on top of us. Just ult to be safe. You know, technically, it was, that was a quote-unquote wasted ult, but it doesn't really matter because A, I'm already halfway to my next ult, and B, I was able to get some uh, passive crit chance procs on my uh, on that horde, which also helped me do some damage. So, was that the best ult that I've ever done? No. Is it a waste? No. I, I, I know I sound like a broken record. I just really dislike um, when people basically do the MMO brain thing and constantly hold on to their ults as well as their items. You really should never be holding on to anything in this game for like an, ex an extremely prolonged period of time. You should be using absolutely everything at your disposal when you need it. I can't remember who said this. It might have been JSAT. But um, I, it might have been JSAT or another content creator. I don't remember who said this years and years and years ago. But um, if you die... If you die, you should not die with anything in your inventory. You should die with absolutely nothing in your inventory. Because if you really think about it, if you die with something in your inventory, that means that you could have done something to kind of prevent that death and give yourself an edge, which probably would have prevented you from dying. Okay, he staggered him out of his puke. I'm going to stagger him out of his puke now. Going for the headshots, because why not? Headshots are lots of damage. I'm going to get behind him. Nope, actually, I'm going to go kill that uh, special. Is it necessarily my job to special kill? No, it's not. But you know what? I saw my team was preoccupied, and I took on the job of special killer temporarily, because that is how you become a good teammate in this game. Blood loss. Uh, I don't like blood loss. I don't want it. Technically, it's best for um, either Merc or me. It's oh, that's bad. I'm spam. Oh no! The fucking downtown assassin. That is such an unfortunate thing. I'm spamming F. I'm gonna immediately drink my potion. Oh, okay. We have double potions going on. I am just gonna be spamming F as much as possible to just kind of keep people away from this Barden. That it was a beautiful recovery. Beautiful recovery. You know what? You know? Do you know what actually allowed us to recover from that situation? The double drink of potions. Yeah, we used two potions. We used a strength potion, as well as a um. What's it, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? A concoction potion. But that allowed us to survive. Also, speaking of surviving, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna make my way back to Captain Obed right now because I need to be with my team. I'm gonna kill this guy. I am pinned in a corner. This is unfortunate. Where is Captain... Okay, Obed's with me. Okay, that's bad. I'm going to ult and just immediately bomb this because I want to clear this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not, I'm not actually going to help Obed. I am going to move, grab this healing. Oh, that's unfortunate. I need to go for the res. Oh, boy. Hello. I don't know why he did that. I hear... I am stuck. I am stuck. Oh my god. That's unfortunate. He's dead. I'm gonna try to go around. I see a... Speed potion right there. I got stuck right there. I got scared, so I just... I need to grab that again. I'm just gonna drink, because why not?
I need to try to bait this chaos spawn into some kind of like grab like that. Come on. Yes, got it. I'm just gonna drop immediately, go for a kiting route. Hopefully Duke's gonna survive. Thank you. Oh, okay, both, both are on me. I'm not too worried about this right now. I'm just gonna try to kite and survive a little bit while a Duke attempts to stabilize himself. All right, he has a shield. And what that means is that he's going to be able to survive for a long time, which means I'm going to drink this speed potion after going over here, and I'm going to rush the res. Because they are right here. I am going to be careful with this. I don't know where that assassin is. Immediately kill him. The reason I go for the res right here instead of helping Duke is because my boss damage as Witch Hunter Captain is absolutely pitiful. I will not be able to do anything to help him. And because he has a shield, I know he's going to be able to survive. Plus, I know he's a very good player. So I know he's going to be able he's going to be able to survive with pretty much no issue. So I'm going to trust that nothing, you know, absolutely massive spawns and fucks him over. And, uh, and then I'm going to go get the res. Which was absolutely the right play in this decision. I'm now going to try to kill that guy, uh, miss, and now I don't have any other range, but I'm going to go try to, I'm going to try to pull one of these bosses. Oh, I am so sorry, Obed. I'm just going to heal Obed at this point. I don't care. I would like to pull one of these bosses onto me. Not both, not both, not both. We need to separate these bosses so that we can work on one of them. Perfect. We have heavy metal. That's awful. Oh, my God. I would normally just, uh, you know, dodge dance this Rat Ogre right here, but I don't know where heavy metal's coming from, and I don't want to get caught by heavy metal. So I'm going to do it a little bit, then I'm going to turn around and check my back. Okay, he's over there. I just need to be very, very careful. Okay, I have that coming, so I'm going to go ahead and go over here. We have a potential, uh, oh, not guaranteed disablers coming. I don't know why I said potential. Was that uh, ammo spot? That is ammo right there. I need to let... Fuck. I need to let uh, Duke know that that's right there. I don't have... Okay, we're about to, like, cross beams, so I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm also going to get to a position where I can kind of look over and, like, help people kill some disablers. So I'm right now the disabler killer. That is my job. But I also need to kind of protect myself. My job is leech killer. I am killing every leech imaginable right now. I... I do nothing but kill leeches and ho the occasional crap. This is very bad. Okay. I'm going to go around. Oh my god, why? I'm going to go for Kruber right here since he's the clearest. Thank you. Perfect. We're both up. Oh, that is the ever-increasing... Blightstormer. That was horrifying. I'm going to try to get Duke. I'm going to bomb this to stagger everything around me. Nope. I'm not going to be able to get that. Sorry, Duke. Hi. My name is JTC, and I am the last man standing. I'm going to try to reload this. All right. This is probably going to end in death unless I can get to the... Oh my god. That's two down. Oh god, they're also inside each other right now, which is unfortunate. I might be able to get Duke again because they left him alone. No. I'm not going to be able to. That's unfortunate. Fuck. I think I'm just going to have to leave Duke. Duke. 
Ah, uh, forgive me, Duke. Yeah, I'm not gonna, especially with Gunline, I'm not gonna be able to do anything about that, so I just gotta go. I can use the Red Ogre here to, allow, to launch me forward, so I'm gonna do that and completely fucking fail. Because I am good at this game. All right, come on, do the do the thing and launch me. Thank you. Launch me. Get up. Nope. Oh my god, that is so unfortunate. All right, I need to dodge up. Basically, what I need to do right here is get them in such a way that I can get. No! Oh, I took that a little too close. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I got overheaded the instant that I shouted, so it basically completely canceled my shout. <laughs> 